So here's a bit of an update um, on our last review, which was done for uh, the Re by HTC camera, which is uh, this thing right here that you see. Um, what we did not have when we did the review uh, was the app that goes with it. Um, courtesy of HTC, I have managed to get that app on my HTC One M8 right after we published the review. Um, unfortunately, it's not available on the Google Play Store yet, uh, but I did manage to get an APK for it. Um, so I'm just going to run you through uh, what it looks like and how it works. I've got it right here on my phone. It's here it is. And all you need to do is you need Bluetooth to set it up. Um, you get out of the settings. I don't know how I'm here. Right, so I'm going to switch on the camera. I can switch the camera on from right here. And there it is. It sees me. It's right there. It's looking at me. Hey. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so this is the interface. Um, if you have a look at it, um, we've got... Um, it's fairly simple. It, it works pretty much like the camera does, except that you can now see what you're recording and you can use your controls right here. Plus, you can have a look at the gallery. You can you can see what you've been uh, taking pictures of and everything. Uh, things are pretty clean here. Nothing I want to hide. Nothing like that. No, I think it's pretty cool. There's mostly just selfies. Um, Right, so uh, this is what the app looks like. It's got a little bit of a settings thing here. You can set these things up. I can change to ultra wide angle. Um, I don't know how that affects it or what happens. Let's let's have a look at what happens when we switch to ultra wide angle. How much of a vision it's getting on? Well, that's I don't know. That's much more than we had earlier, but that's still quite wide. I mean, it's supposed to be 146 degrees of width happening in there. For resolution is oh, we can go to high 16 MP. HD because why not? Hmm. Does have a password and you have to set it up the first time. Uh, that allows you to only sync your phone with one camera. So just a few settings here and there. It does show Zoe preview, so Zoe is built in right there. Let's check out what the advanced settings are. Okay. Uh, erase all the files on the Re's SD card. The Re does come with a um, standard 8GB SD card. Um, oh, there's an update available. No, I don't want to fight to reset my re camera. Okay, so that's the settings. No. So I can pretty much pick up the re, change its view. I'm kind of spin it around right now. It's coming right back to me. Um, so this is a bit of a lag, which I was expecting, but otherwise it seems pretty decent. I can see how it's ultra wide. Um, there's these curves around the edges of the photo uh, that is happening because of the ultra wide thing that's 
um, just for a second look at the difference when we switch off ultra wide yeah okay we can see the difference here um, yeah I like ultra wide let's take a picture with ultra wide let's see how it works um, I'm doing all of this with the with the phone itself and not using uh, the camera shutter button which is here I'm not going to use any of that I'm going to do all of this with just a phone the, the, the re camera is just going to sit there there we are we've got ultra wide angle on uh, let's shoot a let's take a picture there did you hear that and right then there you are there it's updated immediately so it's connected via Bluetooth and it's updated immediately it's it's pretty cool and that one over there is an automated Zoe and there you have it that's our review uh, at Absolute Geeks of the Re camera by HTC and also the Re by HTC app we should be out soon we don't know when but soon